Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome to another video of Dr. Zakir Naik where a brother asked a question regarding Bible that Jesus said that Jesus is the son of God and father and son he was trying to say that Jesus claim divinity and watch the beautiful answer of Dr. Zakir Naik. Hello Dr. Zakir Naik, uh, my name is Randy, I'm coming here special for you, I'm from a Baptist Church from the United States. So. The problem there is, uh, uh, the question is, in the Bible, uh, Jesus often say, refer to God with the Father and teach like uh, He's the Son of God or refer we are the sons of God. The question is, did He really mean to say Father and Son or uh, he is really son of God or it is the Bible that is corrupted or the translation? That's the question. That's a big question. That's the root of the cause of this confusion. Thank you. Brother, as the question that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, refers himself to as the son, refers to God as father, is he the son of God? Brother, if you read the Bible, the Bible has got sons by the tons. It's mentioned in the Bible that Adam was the son of God. It's mentioned in Jeremiah that Ephraim was son of God. It's mentioned in the Bible Israel was son of God, he was the firstborn. It's mentioned in the book of Romans, chapter number 8, verse number 14. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. So if you are following the teachings of God, you are called a son of God. If I'm following the teaching of God, I'm God's son of God. So this word son of God is no problem at all. But the problem is that the church, they very often quote a word of, verse of the Bible. And they say, Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die, but have everlasting life. This word begotten, they say, no, 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 Jesus is not like a normal son, peace be upon him. He is the begotten son of God. Now this verse of the Bible, Gospel of John chapter 3, verse number 16, this word begotten, according to the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, revised by 32 Christian scholars, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, they say that this word begotten is an interpolation, it's a fabrication, it's a concoction, and they're throwing it out of the Bible as an interpolation. So actually, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is a godly person. Anyone who follows the teachings of God, he's called a son of God, I've got no objection. But that does not make him the begotten son. Like rightly you said, that if you follow the teachings of God, you're son of God, no problem. Like the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter number 8, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they're sons of God, no problem. So this started with the church preaching wrong things. The Bible has got no problem. It is the church which is trying to prove to its followers that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity, which he never did. Hope that answers the question, brother. Yes, uh, we blame the church for this. Thank you so much. Brother, do you believe Jesus is messenger of God or is he God? Messenger of God. Do you believe that God is one? Yes. One. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, he is. So if you believe that God is one and Jesus is the messenger and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God, that means you're a Muslim. Yes. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Uh, sure. I'll say in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah, ilaha, ilaha, illallah, illallah, wa ashadu, wa ashadu, anna, anna, muhammadan, muhammadan, abduhu, abduhu, wa rasuluhu, wa rasuluhu, I bear witness, I bear witness, that, that, there is no God, there is no God, but Allah, but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad, and Prophet Muhammad, is the messenger, is the messenger, and servant of Allah, and servant of Allah. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may give you more hidayah, more knowledge, Amen. so that you can practice more of Islam. 
and I pray that it puts you in Jannah the Firdos, inshallah. Amen. Thank you so much, Amen. sir. Thank you. Welcome back, friends. I hope you enjoy the video till the last minute. The brother is trying to uh, asking the Dr. Zakir Naik that uh, Jesus claimed divinity, but neither he I. As the Dr. Zakir Naik gave him uh, preferences, he said that uh, uh, several times in the Bible uh, they say Ibrahim is the son of God, Adam is the son of God. The, these are, you know, the Bible is not in the original form. So many times uh, we have seen, I have told you, Dr. Zakir Naik told you that this Bible, the current Bible, is not the original Bible which was uh, revealed from Almighty Allah. The ancestor, the Christian scholar, they completely changed the Bible. They add words from their self and they remove the original content that they, they corrupt it just for the sake of money. That's why today we have seen a lot of blunders in the Bible. So if someone said that uh, in the Bible Jesus claimed divinity and Jesus said that I am the son of God, uh, worship me, that are the fact news. That's why the Dr. Zakir Naik uh, open, give open challenge to the Christian community that if you ever find a single statement in the Bible where the Jesus himself said that I am God, or I am the son of God, worship me, I will leave the Islam and I will accept the Christianity. But no, no one able to give the answer. So uh, that's why the Bible and the, uh, all previous book which was revealed before the Holy Quran, these are not in the original form. These are, are just blunders and the people make changes it. When the people make changes it, so it was completely corrupted form. You cannot say, you cannot say that this Bible is the original revelation from Almighty Allah. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Muhaymin and Ali. Muhaymin mean a book which gives you the information of previous book. So if you really uh, want to say that uh, Jesus is the messenger and Jesus is not the son of God, then you will be a Muslim. If you uh, uh, claim that Jesus is the son of God or Jesus claim divinity, then you are not a Muslim. And the most beautiful part of the video is when the brother accepted Islam at last when he recited the Shahada in front of all the people. So this is a very positive moment for all the Muslims that whenever someone leave the uh, fake religion and enter into the real religion of Islam. So uh, the last religion and the favorite religion uh, is only Islam. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورزيت لكم الإسلام دينا so if you really want a successful life in this world and after the death you must come to the islam you have to leave your christianity your jewism your buddhism whatever the religion you have because all our religion are the man-made just uh, corrupted form of the books are available even if you compare the bible of one country to another you will be find a great differences but what uh, uh, if you look at the holy quran 1400 years ago still the Holy Quran is in its original form that's why Jesus doesn't claim divinity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned in the Holy Quran لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَالِثُ ثَلَاثَ In Arabic salis means three so those people who say that gods are three these are, are just make kufr and shirk and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never forgive the sin of shirk إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ أَيُّ شَرَكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَدُورَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the uh, great, the global, uh, uh, the global uh, nobility of Islam and uh, make the life beautiful with the beautification of Islam and leave us from this uh, kind of uh, religion who say about the Christianity, Jewism and a lot. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends.